Hey folks, this is Susan and I am here at a friend's house. I am wanting to talk about pain, pain management, and um, psychology, religion, a little bit about everything, and faith, most importantly. But my uh, friend was bringing up a good point. It's like, what is God? Who is God? Is that God is love. And so, that's that. Anyway, um, I believe that psychology has been used as a weapon against the family unit here in America for far too long. Um, the family unit is being attacked from different angles. The family unit is the most important unit and our governments are aware of that. The countries that are helping the family unit grow and stay together are the most healthy nations. The countries that are utilizing psychology and the resources against the family unit are not only poor in spirit but are poor financially. We know that when somebody is in physical pain or emotional pain, more than anything emotional pain, when you have to leave your country and leave your children behind or your child has been taken by DHR or something has happened and your family unit is broken or mother and child are separated, um, that parent is going to apply all of their energy to work, toward work, working harder, working longer hours, because work is medicine, right? We know that. We know that work is medicine, but we need a balance. We need a balance between work and play, work and you know, a, a healthy, balanced lifestyle. And when your children are taken from you, you just throw yourself at work. We know that. So I believe that this is why our governments, especially in, here in America, is utilizing their resources against the family unit so that we have more parents willing to work longer to include nights and weekends because they don't have any children to tend to or any husband or wife for that matter because our divorce rate here in America is very high and it's a vicious circle. When husbands and wives are away from each other, the wife is neglected, or the husband's neglected, or they neglect each other. They begin extramarital affairs, even if they're virtual affairs, physical affairs, due to travel, you know, physical needs are important because we all need balance. So when we're away from our significant others, significant other, we engage in things that we normally would not be engaging in because there's no time to play when you're busy with work and home, with work and your wife, or husband and children. So because our government, 
our American government is very well aware of this nature. They know their psychology and they're using it against the family unit. Corporate America sucks. We need production. We need productivity. We need hard working people. We need dedicated individuals who are willing to go above and beyond for their job, for their company, for their community. What about the family unit? So we have a lot of this going on. Miss Valerino, are you available to work nights and weekends? Well, I really need a job. I've been unemployed. I prefer day shift because I want to spend time with my son at night. I want to be able to help him with homework, take him to the park. I want to be able to take him to church, take him to pump it up, Chuck E. Cheese. I want to be able to spend time with my son and play Uno. Are you willing to work nights and weekends if the job required it? Because we're really looking for somebody who's available nights and weekends, at least sometimes. Would you? Yes. You look at your schedule and you're working nights and weekends mostly. So in order to make Miss Valerina when many a uh, Many, many moms like her. These kids get taken away. The custody gets given to the father. DHR gets involved. Gives your child to somebody who's not blessed with fertility. Or somebody who's been in the foster care industry or the adoption industry. Somebody who's a better parent because Miss Valerino does not have the parenting skills. She's not financially stable. But she's willing to work nights and weekends. So let's use her. Ten years later, my son's an adult. He's having his own baby. And I'm old, childless. I know psychology. God bless America! And God we trust. We are the aliens we are searching for Jesus descending on a cloud the bride the city descending from heaven out of heaven transparent the new earth the new sky the new heaven and the new earth And there was no longer any night because night equals darkness. No longer any darkness in this new earth because bright is where we are in. Bright. B. Right. B. Ben son or daughter ba bet house ba ben jamin son of the right son of the south you have come out 
of your mother's womb up and out of your mother into a new environment out of your mother's dark womb and into him the bright warm environment up 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 and to the right b right bright b books book spirit Tying us together. The Father is calling. Son, come home. Go, come. Same thing. You're going home. You're coming home. Same thing. The end is the beginning. Same thing. Do not be afraid of the end. For the end is a new beginning. The end means hope because it's the end of suffering. The end of corruption. B Becoming be coming. I am. You are. We are. In the Quran, it describes Allah as we created you. The east shall meet the west in the middle and we shall put our books together and we shall go up up and to the right into his heart because we are his body no matter how you look at it he is the root he is the root and no matter how you look at it this is the middle This is the middle. Our transformation occurred between the three and the four. Between the three and the four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He is the crown. He is. He is speaking to us. Son, turn your scope from your let us take a look at our earth. You were created in his image. And you have gifts. And we will restore our earth. We will bring his kingdom together. We will restore Eden with his helping hand, his helping healing hand, which is hope. He is the healer in our hope, and he is the code and the cure. And he is love, like my friend said. And Jesus is our hope. And 
The problem and the solution lies in the human heart. And he is here. He is here and there. He is there and here. And no matter how you look at it, seven, six, five, four, that's one, two, three, or We are his body. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Our transformation occurred between the three and the four. Four. Transformation, conversion, fix. Because we are all broken. We are all broken pieces of bread in a basket. B basket. B broken. B bread. B body. B blood. Brotherhood B becoming one up, 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 and to the right because our right is into his heart. We are the aliens. We are searching for. We are children of the light. We are what we're looking for. Find yourself. Woo! Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.